Good morning everyone, we're back at the farm today on a lovely warm day just in summer now, see there's a helicopter over the coast there but yep, yeah, just at the farm today and I thought today, seeing as we got all the silage in uh, the other week and stuff, uh, that I'm, I'm going to treat myself to a plough and I've just got a small, very small field down at um, well towards town, that kind of way so thought I'd just treat myself to a plough and uh, plough it up uh, so we can get some arable crops and stuff so I'll just jump in the Massey and we'll uh, we'll head down, I've just turned my beacon lights on but yeah we'll head down to the shop now and uh, just see if they've got one hopefully they have but yep yeah, as I've said I've just got a small field downtown um, well towards that way anyways um, but yeah just turn down here so I'm going to plough that up and we'll probably plant some uh, barley or something like that so uh, obviously at some point I'm going to have to look at some old kind of combine um, I'm not sure what it'll be but it'll be very old very cheap but yep, I'll see you when we get to the shop. Right, I'm just at the shop now, I'll just park my tractor here. Oh, it looks like they've actually got a plough in the workshop there. wonder if that's for sale, maybe they've been uh, doing some work on it for someone. Looks like a fair plough though, four for her. I'd say that'll do a decent job if it's uh, for sale. I'll just go in and have a look. There we go, I've actually just bought that plough. Turns out they've just been doing some work on it. I think they were saying it's about five or six years old, so it's a decent plough. Uh, paid four thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds for that. So yeah, should do as well. Should do a great job on that field actually. I think I'll head straight there. So let's just put it on the massy. I think those weight blocks should do it. Uh, we've got some spare ones in the yard, anyways. If it's too heavy on the back, but it's only a small plough, so I think it will be all right. There we go. Just attach to it now. There we go. Just get that on there. And we'll just lift it out the ground there. There we go. Just make sure I've attached the hoses and stuff in. Maybe it doesn't have any. Well, there we go. Off to the field. A minute until midnight. I'm just wondering where you are. Just thought I'd call and wish you good night. I left my key under the mat. I don't get anything done. You're stuck in my mind. I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe. This feeling I go when I say we'll be high Won't you come on over Don't you miss me too Give it all you got, babe Give it all you got, baby I'd rather try than lose you Give it all you got, baby Give me all you got We're just getting towards the field now. It's a bit of a funny gateway, this one. I haven't really been down here, so I'm just going to check which way it is. I'm thinking it's up here. I'll uh, see you when I've found the gateway. Right, I've just found the gateway. 
turns out we have to drive through someone else's field to get into ours so yeah I think it's just through here don't really want to drive over this person's crops doesn't look like they have any in anyway so it shouldn't matter but yeah ah this is our field so we've got a well kind of storage shed he's got some old stuff in but yep this is our field so if I just lower this plow down now should start ploughing right so I'm just going to mark out the edge of the field now well roughly so then we'll plough inside where I've marked out and then at the end we'll finish off with the headlands and stuff well yep see it's doing a fairly good job it's good size this field I might only do half because I do want to keep some for like hay bales and stuff See, I'll probably do this first half. There we go. Right, if I just bring it round here now. And lower the plough again. There we go. About there. Now if I just swing it round again, and then drop the plow again, here we go, there, see the mass is nice and clean, obviously I cleaned it last uh, video after we picked up and stuff, so yep, it's looking lovely and clean, see it's plowing away nicely as well, Pl uh, pulling the plow really well is what we like to see right there we go just spin around again see so, yep, this half of the field will still be grass if you're wondering why I'm leaving that be just good for some hay bales and stuff try and meet our line here going up to the uh, last little section if you're wondering from the drone shots there why I wasn't flipping the plow this one doesn't actually flip so you have to keep going up and round like I was doing there just if you're uh, wondering why I wasn't flipping the plow there we go, I'll just back and get that a little bit so yeah I'll probably take this back to the yard and uh, park it up and check the sheep 
what I usually do when I'm checking the sheep is just take the bobcat up. I don't think you've seen our bobcat yet, but yeah. I take the bobcat up and just check they've got enough water, hay and stuff. They've got an auto water pump which fills their trough up when it's getting low, but I always like to check just to make sure that it's uh, working properly. There we go. Just plant this little bit here. Doesn't matter if there's a few little shrubs because they'll just get uh, put down with the cultivator, so. That's what I'll be doing um, tomorrow. Just seeing if they've got a, an old cultivator and cedar for me. Uh, if they don't, I'll probably have to borrow one off them. So yeah. And we're done. I think I've done a pretty all right job of that. Should lift a, a little bit of crop off it. It's not the biggest. Uh, arable piece of land but just get this last little bit yeah we should get a little bit off it just make us a little bit of extra money here we are just leave the field now right I might look at getting a gateway uh, somewhere else so I don't have to keep driving through that person's field I'm sure they don't appreciate that. Yeah, especially when it's grown with crops. Anyways. Right. Back on the road. Here we are, we're just get, uh, getting into the yard now. See, it's just started raining. So we finished just in time. See, there's the bobcat just there. But yep, we finished just in time. Which is lucky. Now I'm just thinking, if I park this plow just down here, just down there, by the side of this shed, now it's out the way. If I just park it there, there we go. I'll have to get out and detach it. There we go. Right. Let's put this massy away in there. Go and check on the sheep. I think I left a bale of hay up there last time I checked on them, so don't think I'll need to take one up now. Right, turn the beacon lights off. There we go. So I'll literally just take the bobcat up with a bucket on, I think. See, there's our tanker for contract work, but yeah, we don't have any slurry on this farm, so we don't use it for our own slurry. Just watch the uh, splash plate on it there. Right, so this is our bobcat. It's got about 5,800 hours on it. We haven't put much of that on, maybe about... 600 of them hours so not that many see it only goes 12 mile an hour but it's not really meant for road work so can't complain to get into 
the field. There we go. Right. Could probably do with a bit of a wash this uh, bobcat. Might wash it uh, today. Just depends. Yeah, see there's a bale of hay up there. There's maybe two actually, I can't remember. <laughs> see, it's quite bumpy in this little thing. I tend to go around the back because it doesn't really make it up the front, so. There's the lighthouse straight ahead. I think I'll just park it here for now. Right, see how they're getting on. See, there they are. We've got about 10 sheep, I think. Yep, see, they've got plenty of water there. We've, this is our pump here. That just uh, fills that up when it starts to get low, so it'll fill it up again soon. But yep, they're looking good for food. So we've got two hay bales there ready. I'm just going to see them. <laughs> There they are. So yeah, sheep are doing as well. See, they just go inside here when it starts to rain and stuff, if they want to. So they'll probably be in there soon, I would have thought. But yeah, that's our sheep. They're looking all good. So let's uh, get back down to the yard. Probably take a while with this uh, bobcat, but oh well. A minute until midnight I'm just wondering where you at Just thought I'd call and wish you goodnight I left my key under the mat I don't get anything done, you're stuck on my mind I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe This feeling I go when I say what we had getting in the yard now. I'll probably move that windrower out of the way as well. Right, let's just park in this shed. See, it's quite tight. Just makes it in though. There we go. Put the bucket down, turn the beacon off. Must have a bit of a leak in this roof. The rain's coming through. Have to get uh, that looked at. Right. Uh, I think what I'll do is just move... Uh, some stuff. Oh, that's a bad pile of rubbish there. I'll probably think about getting that to uh, taken to the tip. That's not good. Oh, crap. Here's James. Hello, James. What's wrong? Oh, mate. I've got a huge problem. My tractor's been nicked. Wait, what? You, you've got it right there. I can see it. No, no, no. The dude's far, mate. It's gone. Completely gone. They've left the mowers and nothing else. Wait, what? Gone? Yes, mate, you know I was on about that thief in town. Well, I think he must have nicked my tractor, mate. It's gone. Completely gone. Well, come on, I'll help you look for it. Have you got your John Deere now? Yes, mate. Right, come on, we'll, we'll have a look. You drive me down. Come on. Right, everyone, see, we're just in James's tractor now. He's just saying his tractor's been nicked, so we're going to have to go and look for it. Did you say they've just left the mowers? Were well, the mowers on it, James? Uh, yes, mate.
we're just arriving at James's farm now. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. But I'm not sure we will. If the thieves took it, I don't think it'll be here. Um, right. Hopefully it's about. I really hope we find it. I don't want uh, James's tractor being stolen. Ah, see, there's the mowers. Were the mowers attached, James? Yeah. Yes, mate. Right, he must have just completely detached them and gone. Um, yeah. Doesn't look like it's here. Must have just detached them and driven off. Uh, do you want to go to the police? Or have you already rang them? Uh, I've already rang them, mate. Um, they said they'll keep looking, and looking about, mate, but I'm not sure they'll be able to find it, mate. Uh, it's gone. Vanished. Well, I had my tractor stolen once, but it was... Do you remember Blake Harrison? Um, just down the road? Yes, mate. Well, he was the person that stole it. Um, but he's in prison now, so it won't have been him. Um, I'm not sure who it will have been. Um, well, I'll keep an eye out for it anyways. And if you want a hand looking for it or anything, just give me a ring. Thanks, bud. No problem. I'll see you again soon. Well, that's a bit of a weird end to this video, guys. But thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it. Um, hopefully we'll find James's tractor soon. But, yeah, I'll see you next time.